Okay, guys, so you have been asking for this and patiently waiting to find out how exactly I took this $100 Facebook Marketplace fine and turned it into this. I'm going to try and make this as easy as possible for you, so let's get into it. The first thing you're going to need is an electric sander ideally something with a point on it. If your furniture has any kind of detail, like mine had the dental molding, you definitely need something that you'll be able to get into those corners or possibly a Dremel tool. You want to sand the whole thing down with a 60 to 80 grit paper. Once you've sanded the whole thing down, I want you to hose it off to make sure that any particles, anything left over are gone. And then you're going to make sure it thoroughly dries because we don't want the oven cleaner to get diluted with the water. So make sure your piece of furniture is completely dry. I highly recommend doing this outside. Once it's thoroughly dry, we are going to go over it with the oven cleaner. You don't want to use the oven cleaner that says that it's odor free or whatever. You want the strong stuff, okay? <laughs> so find the strongest oven cleaner you can get, do it outside, wear a mask, wear gloves, um, goggles if needed, and cover the entire thing. Then I want you to get a soapy bucket of water and wash it all down. And you will see the orange literally coming out of your furniture. Wash the whole thing down. Then I want you to hose it all off. Make sure there's no soap or any residue or anything left over. Once you've done that, let it thoroughly dry. Once again, these steps are very important. This is not a quick process, but the end results are worth it. So let it thoroughly dry. Do it on a nice warm day. Once it's dry, you're now going to go back in with your sander and you're going to up it to a 120 grit and then a 220, a finer grit to make sure we have a nice smooth finish. Wipe it all down and here's the next step. You are going to get yourself fusion paint. The first color I used was called cashmere. We want to go one part paint, 10 parts water and create a wash. You can see the difference on this door here where I've done it on one and not the other. The idea is to kill the color, the undertone, the yellow, but we want to keep the grain of the wood. We don't want it to look like paint. So go over it with a wash and then wipe it down with a cloth. Once you've done that and the entire cabinet is fully dry, you're gonna come back in with a second color. This is also fusion paint. It's called Algonquin. We're going to do the same thing again. Create a wash, one part paint, 10 parts water. Go over the entire thing quickly and then wipe it all down. We want it to seep into the wood so that we don't lose the look of the wood. This is not a stain. Again, this is Fusion Mineral Paint. It does a beautiful job, as you can see. And here we go. That's it, you guys, that easy. And I promise you, if you follow all of these steps, create this look, it does save time, but I hope you love your piece as much as I love mine. If you have any questions, please comment below and I will be happy to answer them for you to help you through this process. Good luck and thanks for following along.